from the rising of the sun unto the place where it sets, the name of our God is worthy to be praised. We praise our God for his faithfulness to us, for loving us the way he does. We thank him for his faithfulness, we bless him for our salvation in Jesus Christ. We thank him this day because as many that believed in Jesus Christ, God has given power to become the children of God. We bless God this day for opening unto us the door through which the righteous must come in. He is our God. He has blessed us with all spiritual gifts in the heavenly places. We thank God this morning that we can come before Him into the most holy place covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank God that the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed all our consciences of all our righteousness. Our hands have been cleansed with that blood of Jesus Christ. We are the redeemed of the Lord. We know it and we are saying so. Glory be to God who has not given us over to the feet of the wicked. Glory be to God who has broken every snare. Glory be to God that today he has set a solid foundation for our feet to stand on. Glory be to God who is the glory and the lift up of our heads. We bless God for this day. We thank God that the evil by the morning, by the noon, by the evening, night and evening and at midnight and midnight shall not come near our dwelling places. He is our God. We thank God for giving our senior citizens, our parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, strength in old age. We bless God this morning because He is faithful. There is no God, I say. Thank you, thank, you, thank you to God our Father for all everything He has done for us. I welcome you this morning, my dear uncle, or uncle, good God, good Benji, for calling in this morning. God bless you and your family. God bless your ministry. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We thank God for his goodness to us. We thank God that in old age you are still strong. That you will live to right old age in Jesus' mighty name. We bless God for everything he's doing for us in our families. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This day we have come before God, believing in the power of God to help us, the power of God to deliver us from all spiritual strongholds. No weapon fashioned against us will prosper. We thank God that He has spoken His word concerning us. He has commanded the blessings already. Glory be to God. We lift up our hands this morning to pull down our blessings. Glory be to God. To claim that which belongs to us and our families. We lift up our hands this day against every spiritual wickedness. We pull down everything standing in our way today in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive our glorious inheritance in the land of the living. We bless God for blessing us in our families. He has called us by the names we answer. God has blessed us by those names. God has blessed us in the families that we belong, that we are born into. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the families we are married into. In our communities. God has blessed us on our jobs. God has blessed us in our marketplaces. In the, on the mountaintops. In the valley. Glory be to God. In the plains. Wherever our feet we walk upon today. Where we tread upon today. God has blessed us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. You have done great things for us. You have blessed us about God. You have given us everything we need for this day. We do not lack anything good. We bless you. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, Jehovah God, for marriages in our families. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you for family members celebrating the goodness of God this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for the birth of children into our families, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You are God. Glory be to your holy name for what you have done for us. We bless you for sending comfort to those more in the death of loved ones. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In all our situations, you are meeting us, Lord God. You are meeting us at a point of need in the name of Jesus Christ. You are God. Always abiding in our situations. Father, we are not hopeless. We are not amongst us. Father, Lord, we behave a sin that I have no future. We have a future, a glorious inheritance in your kingdom. We know you are in control of everything relating to us here on earth. And say, Father, oh, thank you. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Our Father, we thank you. No one can encroach on the land you have given to us. No one can bury anything on our ancestral lands. No one can invoke any spirit against us, calling on our names, on our family names, on our stated family names, on the names of our loved ones and our friends. No one can do any evil against us. You are God. We bless you. The every satanic altar must receive the word of God concerning us today in the name of Jesus Christ. 
In your name we go out. In your name we come in. In your name we congregate as your children. Wherever you lead us to, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you for your wisdom leading us today. You are our Father. Glory be to God. We thank for our marriage to Lord God. We strengthen our homes every day. No weapon fashion against our union we prosper. Thank you that you have called us to holy matrimony and ministry work with our husbands and with our husbands with their wives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God Almighty, for blessing us with our children. We thank you that you have given them their names. No one can invoke any cause against our children to work God. You have lifted up their heads in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you this morning, Jehovah God. There's no God and stay. Your word is still to firmly established wherever we are. By the faithful witness in the sun, even in the sky, even like the sun by day and the moon by night. Father, thank you. We give you a clap of for being our God and helper. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. These days will come before you. We present to you your children that are passing through challenges of life today. We present to you, Father Lord, those that have been affected by the hurricane. Father Lord, in Texas, Father Lord, the wind is still coming. We are paying close attention, O Lord God, to the news, O Lord God. But we know that you are in control of everything. No fear will be stirred of you, but God, you will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hands, O Lord God, to touch the babies that have been all uh, airlifted today to a uh, nearby hospital, Jehovah God. We pray, Jehovah, that you touch all the babies, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch the pregnant women, Father Lord, right here, the center of our motion, that send forth help in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch the sick today, the elderly, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, those that, is, that still need to be rescued, Jehovah God, we pray that they will be found wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are God, we bless you. In all situation, we insert your holy name because we know that you are in full control of everything happening. Our Lord God Almighty, we commit unto your hands our government. Oh Lord God, in America, in Nigeria, around the world, we pray for that Lord that our government will seek your face in everything they do. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray to you, Lord God, that our leaders, oh Lord God, will not turn their backs against you. We pray that the voice of wisdom will speak to our leaders and we continue to administer justice in the nations of the world. That the love of God for humanity will be in the hearts of all of our leaders in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they will continue to take care of our senior citizens in the name of Jesus Christ, provide jobs, Lord God, for our families in the name of Jesus Christ. They will continue to strengthen Father of the family union as a unit between a man and a woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Father Lord, that will provide the Lord God what our children need in our schools, Lord God, and cleanse and uproot every satanic ordinance, Lord God, everything according to the will of God in our school curriculum in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that we continue to review the minimum wages and but your know, children will not work hard, hard, long as we are taking enough wages home to, to meet their needs in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, Father, this day we are praying that our government will provide the Lord God basic welfare services, Lord God, and we continue to provide infrastructure and maintain the ones they already have in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. It's like unto you, there's no God as day. You'll be exalted in our government today for you. Father, Lord, chosen, Father, Lord, oracles of yours, so Lord God, that will speak for you, speak for us, in, Father, Lord, in our government. May they continue to march forward. May their voices be heard in Jesus' mighty name. We come against every spirit of confusion, Jehovah God, in our government. May the nations of the world prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless you this day as we commit Nigeria into your hands, O Lord God. We pray that the government will not use the organ, Father Lord, of government against the Church of Christ. We thank you, Jehovah God, and Nigeria will continue to prosper in good works in Jesus' mighty name. Father, who is like unto you, there is no God and see. We thank you for your faithfulness. We bless you for what you are doing within the house of God. We thank you that the Church is prevailing in good works. Thank you, God Almighty, that your, your house is a house of prayer, not a den of robbers. We come Come against false prophets within the house of God. We come against them because they have not come in your name, in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you, O Lord God Almighty. We place us in our rightful positions, O Lord God, in our families, within the house of God, in our communities, wherever we find ourselves in, in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, this day, we are blessing you, Father, Lord, for signs, wonders, and miracles done in the house of God and wherever we go. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. We continue to support mission work, the old Father, Center have us that the gospel continue to be preached in and out of season in the name of Jesus Christ. We continue to lift up prayers on behalf of our families and the needs to the body of Christ, on behalf of our government in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Jehovah God, because we understand your calling upon our lives, Lord God, that we are not in this world without, Father Lord, a, a purpose, Lord God, to be here. Father, we are here to bring more souls into your kingdom. Father Lord, touch our thoughts this day that we come to speak as your oracles. Help us, Lord God, to bring people in our household, people in our community 
blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us this day in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for those that have gone ahead of us into the mission field. Be with them, Jehovah God. Let signs, wonders, and miracles go with them. Let every spiritual strongholds in the in our communities be pulled down by the power of the living God. Let darkness find a place to hide in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we exercise full control over spiritual wickedness today, over the spirit of witchcraft, Jehovah God, over every satanic altar. We exercise full control over every evil spirit today, for you have given us control in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, we bless you. They cannot come into our homes, they have no access into our lives, Jehovah God. You have lifted up our heads about God in the name of Jesus Christ. We belong to a different congregation, the congregation of God's children. No wicked person can find a place that they can come into that congregation where we belong in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you a clap of for helping us, oh Lord God Almighty, who is like unto you, now God and God alone. There is no God as thee. Today we commit unto your hands the sick wherever they are, in our homes, destitute on street corners, in the hospitals, in the doctor's offices. Father, to stretch out your hands, Lord God, send forth your word to heal today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch the doctors, nurses, all taking care of the sick today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, touch those on, on that next intensive care unit, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that their monitors will begin to work right in Jesus' mighty name. You are God, there's no God as we bless you, Lord God. Oh, for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for helping doctors to carry out the various procedures they have to do today. We thank you that everything given to us, prescribed to us, every medicine will begin to work all right in the name of Jesus Christ. We dip in the blood of Jesus Christ, everything we use in our personal care, everything we eat, everything we drink in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that blood begin to speak on our behalf and cleanse out or put every spiritual wickedness done against us in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. You are our God. Today we silence the voice of strong men and women in families and communities. Anyone attempted to come against their own household, continue to come against anyone related to them in blood, with, through blood ties or through friendship. Father, we pull down their strongholds. They do not prevail against us. Your word, your righteous judgment will prevail in every situation in Jesus' mighty name. That our God who's like unto you. There's no God as day. Father, we are praying for your children, looking up to you for the blessing of the womb, wherever they are today. Father, Lord, hear their cry in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless their wombs, so Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let husbands receive strength to impregnate their wives. Wives receive strength to carry pregnancy to full tent in Jesus' mighty name. Protect your born babies in their mother's wombs in the name of Jesus Christ. Help your daughters to bring forth their babies into this world as Hebrew women. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For children that will be dedicated to you. We thank you, our Father. There is no God as thee. We have chance of victory and rejoicing. We are receiving peace in our strength to prevail in every situation. We thank you, God Almighty, that we are standing on solid foundation you have laid for us. We cannot be moved in the name of Jesus Christ. As the mighty encompasses around Jerusalem, that's the way you encompass around us, even now, forevermore. You are our Father. We thank you. Our hands are, are lifted up to you in praise today for what you have done for us. You have anointed our heads with oil, our cups are overflowing. You have set tables for us, right, right in the presence of our enemies. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All the days of our lives, we shall dwell within your arms. Your goodness and mercy will continue to follow us wherever we go. Your rod and staff will protect us against every device of the enemy. You are our God. We say thank you, God. We say the praise and honor. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon ourselves, our families, and the nations, our government. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon the body of Christ in ways that we are falling short of your glory. We ask for forgiveness today. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. As you have forgiven us, we forgive all that have sinned against us in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Receive the praise of Lord God for what you have done for us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord God bring it. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our midst today in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, my dear sister, Miss Arienta. Be omitting me for calling in today. Bosnia, how are you? God bless you. God bless you and your husband and your uh, family and your grandchildren. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless God. Hallelujah. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they stumble and fall. Do an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Do war break out against me, even then will I be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Amen. To gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. 
we will find him. Glory be to God. When you seek God, you will find him. Amen. So the desire of the heart of the psalmist is to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. That should be our desire today. Amen. We know we are passing through this world. We may live up to 90, 80, 102, or 20 years. But one day, we shall leave this world. How do we want to be remembered? Where do we want to spend eternal life? Amen. So while we are here, let us enjoy the presence of God. Let us come within his house, dwell there, gaze at the beauty of God. The beautiful things God has done for us. Yes, we've all passed through challenges of life. But when we want to take a, just reflect a moment of, of, of our life's journey, we see that God has done so much for us. That despite the challenges we've passed through, that God has been merciful. God has blessed us. God has blessed our children. God has blessed our grandchildren. We have seen many good things, more than the evil things that have befallen us. God has given us, restored to us all, all the things taken from us. Glory be to God. As we continue to place our trust in God, God is going to make things beautiful. Glory be to God. Even in old age, God, the word of God says that the, the, the old receive strength. They are still strong in old age, testifying about the faithfulness of God to this generation. Glory be to God. Our God will not fail us. Our song will be sweet to the end in Jesus' mighty name. He is God. With our eyes shall we behold and see the goodness of God in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ. When you do good, you will enjoy the reward of your good works. Glory be to God. People may not say it. You may not know how many lives that you have touched in this world. You may not know how many people you have given good counsel to. You may not know how many people you have blessed through the little things you have done. But those things will actually come with a good reward. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. At a time that you do not expect it, it will come to you, it will come to your children, it will come to your grandchildren. Glory be to God. And that's why we must continue to do good works. When we have offended people, we repent, we ask for forgiveness. And um, we should also forgive people that have done things against us so that we can enjoy the, the breeze, the cool breeze, the calmness of everything that God has given to us, the peace of God in this world. Everything that will cast any heavy load on us at this stage of our lives, we just shake it off. Shake it off and enjoy family, enjoy friendship, enjoy community, enjoy the people that God has placed in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. If anyone is casting any heavy load on us, you are trying to make them enjoy the goodness of God and you find yourself coming down under the spirit of heaviness, you need to take time off to refresh yourself. Glory be to God. And just pray for them. And Father, I pray that this person will understand that. We know that when you come to a situation where things are too heavy, you cannot do it. Where do you put it? We place it at the feet of Jesus Christ and we enjoy the time that God has given to us. God is able to do everything. He will work out everything for our good. And He alone will take the glory. We must trust God that God has, is, is in control of everything relating to us and our children. That God knows us and our children by the names He has called us. And that his perfect plan concerning us, his will concerning us, will be done. Glory be to God. We will not make gods out of things that God created. Because of fear, we will not run to the wrong places. Because of fear, we will not receive words from false prophets that we cast every load a shadow over us. Amen. For we know the word of God. God. God loves us. God has blessed us. Glory be to God. He is our light and our salvation. Amen. We are not walking in darkness. What shall we fear? We will not fear darkness. We will not fear spiritual wickedness. We will not fear those gathered together for evil purposes. God, God has seen them all. And God is working out everything for our good. Glory be to God. The word of God said that we will eat poison and it will not harm us. Many of us may not know how many times we have eaten poison. Many of us may not know how many times evil people trying to make money through dubious, dubious ways have injected things in our food, in the product they sell to us in our markets. But we have seen video clips with people doing evil things. Trying to add things to their their the their their wares, the things they are selling to have more profits. But see, we are alive today. It's the mercy of God. It's the mercy of God. Glory be to God. So many things are happening around us that we are not aware of in the spiritual realm. We bless God that is in control of the spiritual realm. That is helping us every day. And the blood of Jesus Christ, that's how we invoke the blood of Jesus Christ, is helping us. It's giving us the advantage over every spiritual force, over every evil plan of the enemy. Glory be to God. And that's how we pray. When we pray and the Spirit is helping us to pray, we begin to alter those things that we're doing in darkness. 
And if there's any evil person around us, it's, oh, this person is aware of this. Oh, how did they know? It's not we. It's the Spirit giving us those utterances. We begin to say them. Things done in darkness. As it comes into your mind, as you are praying, you pray because the Spirit is revealing things to us. Glory be to God. God will protect us in the name of Jesus Christ. That one thing I ask of, of, of the Lord, that this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the hands of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, there is a promise here. Because we dwell in the house of the Lord, we seek Him, we gaze upon His beauty, we are close to the God, we are drawn close to Him, that in the day of trouble, for a day of trouble we come. Look at what happened suddenly with the hurricane. People are going about their businesses, praise be to God for those who could read the signs, who knew what was happening, that this, this wind coming is going to bring devastation. There was a day of trouble. And even now we are still hearing that another one is coming. A day of trouble. So he will protect us in a day of trouble. Amen. For in the day of trouble, he will keep you safe in its dwelling. Because we are already dwelling in God's house. Some of us may imagine that that house is the church. No. Your house where you are. The, yes, the church is the church of God. But we carry God in us. He dwells inside of us. Amen. So, when we have accepted the salvation of Jesus Christ and we have a relationship with God, we, we, God becomes our, we, we, we become, it becomes our dwelling place. It dwells inside of us. So, we are always there. It protects us. Why am I going to uh, Lagos and suddenly God says, turn around, pass this other road, don't go this way. Why am I going to, 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 to my office and suddenly I decide to stop to buy something somewhere? The Spirit leads us because when there's evil somewhere, we will not be there in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not be there in Jesus' mighty name. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. I above that trouble, setting us high above the rock. And who is the rock of our salvation? Jesus Christ. Setting us high. We are in this world, but in the spiritual realm, we are with Jesus Christ, seated on the right, the right hand, where, where he is with God. Amen. Greater is that spirit of God in us than the spirit in this world, that he will set us high on the, upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. We will, there we will be looking at the enemies. They are so small. Small. From up, where God has placed us, so small. From there, we trample upon them. Just look at them. That you, you are wasting your time. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. That my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At this tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. Praise and thanksgiving. Shouts of joy because God has lifted us up above every trouble. He has proven to us that it's truly our God that is dependable. That once he says a thing, he does it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Why won't we sing? When we are seeing the hands of God, why would we make music? Why would we testify? God has been faithful. We have tested and seen the goodness of God. So we can proclaim this gospel and encourage people to believe God. We appeal to the world with the spirit of the living God. As we have been called to the ministry of reconciliation. Be reconciled to God. Come, hear the word of the living God. God will help you. You will be exalted above all your troubles. Above all your wickedness. Coming out wickedness. You will receive authority over every evil spirit, inner strength to prevail in every situation. We must sing and testify about what we know, what God has done for us. Hear my voice when I call, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. It's the face of God that we seek. In every situation we pass through, ask God for mercy. Let our hearts seek the face of God. Amen. That's where deliverance is for us. Seek the face of God. Receive wisdom. Hear the voice of wisdom. Glory be to God. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. In anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me. The psalmist understood and is saying it, right, that you are going to be my helper. Father, in this situation, do not reject me. Things are coming against me. Father, Lord, hear my cry for help. You have always helped me. Do not turn away from me at this time. Do not reject me because or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Amen. Some of us are alive to the appearance that have passed on. We have it's God that we are calling on. Not our parents are resting. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
that though my parent, my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way. There's a way we must learn, the way of God. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Not a crooked path, but on a straight path. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. They want to kill me. They have nothing good to offer. They want to trap up on me. They have come with a lot of allegations, a lot of accusations against me. But Father, do not give me over to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. For false witnesses rise up against me. These are not things, things the allegations are all false. I did not even do them. It's born out of hatred, bitterness, minus, hatred against my God, hatred against life. They may not even know why they hate. Amen. For false witnesses rise up against me, bringing out violence. I am still confident of this. Despite the false witnesses and everything and my situation, the challenges I may be passing through, I am confident of this. I know this concerning you, Lord God. I know God who you are. I know you are faithful. I know you said that nothing can separate us from your love. I know you are always there. You, I am aware of your abiding presence. I have heard your voice once. I'm feeling on that voice. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never fail me. I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen. We wait for the Lord as long as it will take. For the Bible says that there is no difference between a day and a thousand years. Amen. At the time God answers our prayers, it doesn't. the years we waited will mean nothing to us. Our prayers have been answered. We have seen the goodness of God. We have received what, what, what we have asked for. Like a woman, a, a couple waiting for, a, for the blessing of the womb. The day your child comes, those years that you waited will be nothing. You just say, Father, thank you. You have given this, I have cried to you, and you have answered my prayer. Glory be to God. What is it we are waiting for today? We must, what, what have we been praying about? Have we become discouraged, thinking that God is not hearing a, a, a prayer? That's, that's the device of the enemy. We cannot be discouraged. We must continue to pray. God is listening. God has an appointed time for each one of us. He has a time that will work out everything. There is no delay where the children of God are. There is no difference between a day and a thousand years. Glory be to God. Today we are in this world. We want to refer to Revelation chapter 12. You remember that when, when, when the devil, Satan, the dragon, was cast down from heaven by Archangel uh, Michael, and it's angels that, that, that fought against the, 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 the devil and the, the, the angels of the devil and cast them down onto the earth. Before they, they came here, the devil stood before God every day, accusing us, accusing the brother before God, saying things about us, saying things about us. When they won the fight in heaven and he was cast down into this earth, if you read that passage, you see that an announcement went out to the inhabitants of the earth. Two announcements. One, that salvation has come to the people here on earth. Well, because Satan has come down, there was a need for Jesus Christ to come here to redeem us. That salvation has come to the inhabitants of, uh, inhabitants of the earth. Amen. Because Satan had come here, has, has come to this world. So let us not become discouraged. Satan might be in this world, but salvation has come to us in this world. That's the word of God. Jesus Christ has been revealed to us. We have received the help we need to overcome Satan. When you read that passage, Revelation chapter 12, the, that passage states that Archangel Ark, um, Ark Michael and the, the also angels that fought against Satan, that they overcame Satan and its own angels by the blood of the Lamb and the words of their testimony. Something has been given to us, revealed to us how we will overcome Satan in this world. And Satan has come into this world. Amen. Salvation has come here, and we will overcome Satan in this world by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. We must feed on the word of God. We want the blood of Jesus Christ against satanic wickedness. Where am I coming from? It's strong wickedness in our government. Absolute wickedness. Every spirit that manifests through the spirit of this world, the evil spirit of this world, we must invoke the blood of Jesus Christ and the words of our testimony against those spirits. As Angel Michael overcame the, 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 the devil, that's when we are going to overcome that devil in this world. Yes, there was another lamentation that woe to the inhabitants of the earth because the Satan devil 
that dragon has come to this world. Yes, that was that's part of it. Uh, uh, when you read that passage, there was that that lamentation, but also there was a reassurance of ah, we the children of God we overcome Satan in this world because. Jesus Christ has come here. We are going to overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. I'm saying this so that we will be encouraged today. That Satan may spew out a lot of water around the world to drown people, to do things through wickedness. When you read that the signs of the end times and everything, things happening, we do not understand. The earth will open up and swallow that water. Amen. When it comes to the righteous, that's the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We will be protected. We must all... Uh, the, the blood of Jesus Christ invoke it and the words of the testimony of God that we have received from the living word of God let it come out from our mouths in Jesus mighty name glory be to God we thank God for bringing us to the end of this passage we bless it because it's our God it's our helper we shall not be moved glory be to God he's our God he's leading us and he knows everything concerning our lives glory be to God at the appropriate time we have the spirit of God here in this world helping us the spirit is going to reveal to us the things we need to know how to pray and the path we, we we must work on glory be to god god bless you all for calling in thank you uncle god bless you uh i don't know if you are in the of today for emmanuela's wedding uh greetings to all the family members uh god bless you all and my dear sister means uh omitting god bless you too enjoy the rest of your day glory be to god hallelujah amen Enas, thank you for calling in i'm just ending the session god bless you you can listen to the video at the end God bless you and your family and your ministry. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.